Good afternoon, everyone. It is another magical day on Mom's vacation at Disney. Mom, where are we? We are at Disney Springs, parked in the new parking lot that I've never seen before. And this Disney Springs area in total, you haven't been to downtown Disney in how many years? Well, it's been a year and a half since okay. I've been to Disney Springs, but I think there are a lot of new things since I was here then. I would agree with that one. We're going to experience it all right now. Now, we're parked at the Lime Parking Garage today, and I feel like this one is super convenient because you just kind of exit your car and walk right down these elevators, escalators, excuse me, make your way into the springs. So much to see and the relaxed pace of being able to do this and just, you know, not have to worry about time. You got to say it's a big piece of it, right? Absolutely. This is wonderful. Okay. Where, anywhere you want to go, we'll go. Taking a look at the menu here for Polite Pig. Look at that slow, low brisket. The low, slow brisket, put that backwards. The uh, beef short rib. There's so much. So much. I know mom's hungry, so we're gonna get some food pretty soon. As soon as we came in, we took a look at that polite pig menu, and mom was so hungry, she said, you know what, this sounds amazing. I'm not super hungry, so I feel like I'm gonna get like some appetizer item, something small. That smell is hypnotic. Best way to describe it. Smoky, just smoky barbecue flavor. Wow. Mom already found something that she is really interested in, the butcher board for two. Now, I am not that hungry, again, so I feel like it's good for three. If we want more, we can always get more. But it comes with a pork shoulder, smoked chicken, brisket and barbecue cheddar sausage with slaw, house pickles, two cornbreads, and a choice of two market sides. Yeah, that, that, we're gonna do that one. What do you think, Mom? Well, I'm more of a crispy Brussels sprouts person, but we'll figure this out. Okay. This meal at Polite Pig is thanks to the Jackson family. Jackson family, thank you so, so much for your gift card. It means a tremendous amount. Here with the butcher board at Polite Pig, trying several different items, sausages and chicken and different brisket. It looks super, super good. Tiny bit small for the price, but again, if the quality is super good, it's gonna be fantastic. Let's give it a try. No matter what it's like, we gotta come back and try it again some other item. Yeah. No, you haven't even tried it yet, but we yeah. definitely want to come back already. We're all trying a piece of the cheese-filled sausage at the same time. Bon appetit. That is fantastic. I had a small bite of the cheese-filled sausage. David, how was it? It is very, very good. Definitely competitive with some of the best barbecue that I've had before. The sausage is delicious. I love how they've cheese filled it. Fantastic flavor to it. Mind blown with that one. That's one piece. That is a first bite. Wow. These sauces are pretty good, I have to admit. They all have a very unique flavor. I want to try everything without the sauces first, but sauces by themselves are very good. Now it's time to try the briskets. Very strong black pepper on there. You can taste it immediately, but I really like it. It's very tender. It doesn't look that yes. tender, but it's very tender. Very good. Delicious flavor. Yeah. Wow. The brisket is good. I I don't love it. You know, I've actually I've had better brisket in Texas. You know, I I'm a barbecue connoisseur in a sense here. It's been a long time since I've had some really good barbecue, but I've had some really good barbecue. I feel like the sausage is a clear winner here so far. But the brisket is not bad. It's not bad. Now it is time to try some of that chicken. Bon appetit. Not bad, but of the ones we've tried so far, I feel like that's the one that needs the sauce. Right. I really, I really do feel that way. Not as flavorful as the others. What do you think, Mom? Yes, I think it's a well done chicken, and I think it's perfect for with the sauces, so you can really appreciate the flavor of the sauce. David, you didn't have uh, as positive an expression on your face there. Yeah, this one, agreed, needs the most improvement. It's a, it's a little dry to me. Definitely could use some flavor. We're gonna pour some sauce on that one for sure. It's it's not amazing. It's not bad chicken, but definitely would not come out of my way for the chicken. Now, I'm not a big Brussels sprouts person, but David's nodding his head there and telling me I gotta try it. All right, wish me luck. Shockingly good. Wow. You can still taste a tiny bit of Brussels sprout, but it's like, there's so much like sweetness to it, it almost is faded. It's a honey Brussels sprout. It is a honey Brussels sprout. Wow. I am a Brussels sprouts fan. I absolutely love them. They're perfectly done, lovely, and crisp little leaves as well as crisp on the outside of the bigger heads. Great job. That was delicious. So one of the two sides that we had, the Brussels sprouts, a clear winner. Now it's try time to try the sweet potato tots. Look at those. Those look super good. Just as you would expect. Literally, that the, the name describes it perfectly. Sweet potato tots. Yes. Between the two sides, which one would you prefer? 
Well, I've never had sweet potato tots before. To me, they're delicious. I like them very much, but that's my favorite, the Brussels sprouts, the crispy Brussels sprouts. I love them. You know, the Brussels sprouts have a kind of a cotton candy flavor to them. Right. I had to retaste them. Yeah, they, it, okay, okay, okay. I would get the Brussels sprouts. It's just the very last taste you get before you like eat it is a little bit on the uh, not sweet side, but that, that's it. Everything everything about the roast Brussels sprouts is really good. The last meat on the butcher board, the pork, whatever it's eat. Hence why they call themselves the polite pig. Notice which products are best here. Well said, well said. It is good, it is really good. I think sausage is still number one for me, but that's number two easy. easy. That's number two easy. Fully agree with that one. It's delicious, there's a spice to it. Again, that they're really playing with the black pepper flavor in there. You can taste it throughout. That one and the sausage are by far the best. All right, Mom, what do you think? That last meat, the pork. You know, I've never had meat like this before, a dry barbecue. I think it's delicious. It's, it's like the brisket in a way, that dried barbecue style. Um, I love it. It's delicious. I agree. I think the sausage is the number one. But I love everything. It's, it's really delicious. So overall thoughts on Polite Pig. I really did like it. Now, is it my number one option at Disney Springs? Not yet. When, when I say yet, it may become the number one in the future, especially if we just keep coming to get the sausage and just get it a whole item with just sausage on it. So stay tuned. This may change in the future. For now, it is a good option. I think it will be upgraded to a great option in the future. I like it. I do like it. It's not number one for me either. There are some great flavors here. That sausage is quite good. Definitely like that. But I feel like there are a lot of other restaurants which have blown me away. And although I absolutely loved some of these flavors here, I wasn't as blown away especially consistently here at some of the other restaurants we've been to. After a bit of food here at Polite Pig, we're gonna make our way around Disney Springs, do some shopping, and eventually at some point today, you know it's gonna happen, a Girardelli ice cream taste test. She's been to Apple Hills, now it's time for Girardelli. Take a look at this, the entire world of Disney Store has been transformed to a Halloween theme. Remember we were back here last, it was candy all around, now it's all Halloween, and that's awesome. So cool to see the entire Halloween section here. You can even see the projection right there on the ground, and it starts to fly away at intervals during the day. That is amazing. You know what I just noticed? There's Minnie right there on her broomstick. You can see the shadow of it is actually a witch underneath her. I never noticed that until now. I think she'd love it. I think this is exactly Michelle's kind of thing right there. I just noticed something very cool about these pictures right here. It looked like just sketchings on the wall, but watch what happened happens momentarily. Just like on the Disney cruise ships, you can see the characters come alive and it looks like just a drawing on the wall. It looks like it's been drawn with a pencil. It's amazing how far that technology has come. You know what I find amazing? How they can continuously come up with new ideas for merchandise. It's just never ending. There's something new, something unique here constantly. You're seeing the new arrival sign just all over the place, all over the place. Sweatshirt, jacket, something. That is adorable. That's adorable! Look at the Yoda right up there on the Lounge Fly backpack. I, that's, this has got to be one of my favorite designs that I've ever seen for a Lounge Fly. I'm telling you. That he's like on your back training you. Here, the Arendelle Aqua. I kept seeing that lounge fly bag right there and this sweatshirt with that aqua color, that light blue. I love that. Very nice. That is Look super nice. Oh, I didn't, I didn't see that one. In the bag. Ooh, wow. Now they've got mini, look at this David, like mini Ooh. lounge flies. A mini mini lounge fly? <laughs> or is this a mini Mickey lounge fly? It's a, it's a mini mini. Oh yeah, with a blow. $40. I have to admit, those uh, sparkly Crocs and Arendelle Aqua do look pretty cool. $54.99. I, I might be not correct here, but I feel like I remember days where these were $29.99. Not, maybe not at Disney, but... Yeah. Crocs, well, back when Crocs were $29.30, $35, $29.30, was worth more than it is today. Okay, so, fair enough. But the price is Fair enough. I, I'm getting old. I just noticed this. Mom was looking at it. This ring right here with the castle on it looks really cool. It's actually flexible, so it can fit anyone. Trying to be inclusive. I like that, Disney. Interesting, a brand new jewelry section right by the entrance over here. You can do the entrance right behind me. Jewelry section, there's a Pandora section right here where you can unlock the case and see what you want to see. A legging section. It just feels like it's a constant update. 
inside World of Disney, and that's a very good thing. Watch the cupcake transformation right there. Oh my gosh, looks delicious. Now, for those who love to collect those special location Starbucks mugs, if you find yourself outside of the parks and you can't get back in, maybe you don't have a ticket anymore, and you want those mugs, you can find them here at World of Disney, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom, all right here. That is so good to know. So if you find yourself at the end of the trip, again, this is where you come to to get those mugs. We've seen the design on several shirts, but you ever seen it on a pillow like this before? That's so cool. I've seen it before and it's definitely one of my favorites, the Spaceship Earth Sipper Cup right there. That is so cool. $17.99, not bad. It's amazing the change that I've felt over the months that we've been here together. In the past, I would have said, oh, we've got to rush off. We've got to do things. We've got to experience things. We can't just sit back and relax. But now we can, and now I feel comfortable with it. And that to me is a tremendous change, a tremendous difference, and I'm super happy with it. Leaving World of Disney now, Mom, are you hungry for Giardelli? Yes. Giardelli is nice. That, that sounds like a maybe. That's a maybe. Okay, let's go check it out. So far you can smell the soap from Basin, but as we walk in here, starting to smell more chocolate. Chocolate. Fudge caramel, a new favorite of mine. We got this at Food and Wine as well. It is one of their best flavors mm. though, I feel like. It's it's really an amazing one, this one. In incredible flavor. Mm. Milk, chocolate, fudge caramel. Mm. I can get bags and bags of that one. Feel like a kid in a candy store? I do. Ah, yeah. things you haven't seen before. The Magical That's Sunday. Right. That's that one? new. I haven't seen the Magical Sunday before. One of mom's all time favorites is the... Espresso escape. Yes, that's it. Yes, because that's what I said. We're spending a significant amount of time discussing how we're going to make this one happen. We're looking at several of the sundaes and finding out that you can swap out basically any ice cream flavor and the toppings, and make it totally custom for you at the same cost. If you just did three scoops of ice cream and toppings, it's more expensive. So we think we're going to do something like the banana split and just change it up. So, Mom, what are we getting? I've already lost track. Okay, this is very exciting. We're getting a banana split. We're switching most of the things out. Okay. We're going to get three flavors of ice cream. The Ghirardelli chocolate, the butter pecan, and the espresso chip. Okay. So we've decided on those three flavors of ice cream. Now we're on to the toppings. Okay. So on top of the espresso chip ice cream, we're having hot fudge. Okay. On top of the chocolate ice cream, we're also having hot fudge. Okay. And on top of the butter pecan ice cream, we're having caramel. Okay. And there we go. And, and bananas on the side. Banana. It says banana split, and we're also getting whipped cream. Good thing we're all three sharing this one. <laughs> and, um, I think that's it. This special banana split Sunday is thanks to Janine. Janine, thank you so much for your gift card. It means a tremendous amount. Take a look at this Sunday. It's the banana split Golden Gate. Two cherries, uh, nuts on top. There's whipped cream, bananas, caramel, dark chocolate, espresso chip, butterscotch. Uh, it is unbelievable. It looks unbelievable. Wow, let's dig in. First bite here. Here we go. It's amazing ice cream. It really, really is. And as I'm trying it, I love Ample Hills. I do. But I feel like it's a different flavor. It's a creamy ice cream versus this, which is more of a... Uh, how would you call this? It's more of a, a standard premium ice cream, but the hot... It's, I come to Ghirardelli for the hot fudge sundae. You know the toppings. Ample Hills for the flavors and the quality of the ice cream. They're both deserving. They are both deserving. Is it both? It is good here today. Okay. It is good here okay. today. The ice cream itself, I'm still Team Ample Hills. Okay. But I can see, again, the fudge and that kind of thing here at your deli. Yeah. We absolutely love that ice cream. Mom, what'd you think? It was delicious. One of your favorites? Absolutely. I love Ghirardelli hot fudge. The caramel was delicious. All the ice cream flavors, very good. Great choices, too. Mom made a lot of these choices. David, what'd you think? David. Where'd it go? We all ate it. That was delicious. Great choice of flavors, definitely, from Mom. Love that espresso chip, one of my favorites there. And the hot fudge is really, that's what makes, I think, Ghirardelli a competitor in the ice cream ball game. The, the hot fudge? Hot fudge. Okay. As we were just starting to leave, I was thinking to myself, hey guys, why don't we go to the Void for your experience? David has never tried it, and having a bigger team helps with the experience. I have no reservation. I'm going to go over and just see if they have availability. I feel like they would love it. Mom, you don't know anything about the Void VR experience, do you? No, not at all. What is it? It is a VR experience. Only way to put it. We're going to go over there right now and see if they have availability. 
Because if they do, I think you'd love it. Wow. David, I know you would love it. Oh, yeah. I 100% know you would, but I think, Mom, you would too. We're going to take a look inside, see if they have any availability because Star Wars is just so cool in here. Sure enough, we got three tickets to the Star Wars Void Experience. Mom and David's first time now we're filling out the waivers to make sure we are safe, and then we're going to go on in. This experience at the Void is thanks to Janine. Janine, thank you again so much for your gift card. It means a tremendous amount. I think they're going to love it. I really do. Chris Man's on. Here we go. This is going to be David's new new favorite thing at Disney Springs. That, that is how I feel at this moment. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm super, super excited for this one, for sure. I said good things about it, so I'm looking forward to it. You're gonna love it. Mom, I think you're gonna love it too. I, I can I really do. Now, no filming inside, but we'll let you know all about it as soon as we're out. That was pretty amazing. Uh, so realistic. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, David. It was really, really cool. I did like it a lot. Everything I hyped it up to be. It was was very good. It okay. was very good. Okay. Definitely, uh, I'll have to sit on it and, and think about it. It was definitely very good. I can definitely see why people would come out of their way and do this one. I guess I shouldn't compare it to Disney Quest as a whole. So yes, you're right. <laughs> Still talking about best, Disney Quest. Best thing in Disney Springs right now. Right yes. now, by far. No question. Yes. It was everything you hyped it up to be okay. and yes. more. Ah, yes. that's I mean, what I'm talking about. Really, when I was... I don't want to give anything away. Yeah, don't give anything away. When it was time to walk, I felt like saying, really? Is that safe? Can I really yes. walk to the edge? <laughs> it was very realistic. Unbelievable. Love it. Filling out the survey right now. I have a feeling they're going to get excellent scores from the Void experience. Amazing. Just amazing. I, I do hope that we have even more of these experiences in the future. I hope this becomes more of the norm at Disney. And as technology progresses, I have no doubt it will. But I'm so glad we came. So glad they had the opportunity to see this. Okay, okay, all right. Mom says I asked for her review too quickly. Mom, your updated review on the Void VR experience, Star Wars, Secrets of the Empire. It was so unbelievable. I needed a minute to process okay. the experience after going through. That's fair. It was For me, it was unbelievably realistic. I had no idea what to expect. Uh, you need to experience it to believe it. Fantastic. Um, it was just like being there. Aboard ship, fighting the... Uh, how much am I allowed to give away? No, don't spoil it. Don't, don't spoil, spoil it. Don't spoil it. it. Don't spoil it. Right. it was awesome. It was just like being there. Yeah. Very realistic. David, any updates? Uh, again, I agree. I think it was absolutely fantastic. You know, it's, it's a huge step in the future of VR attractions and rides and experiences. And I really enjoyed it quite, quite a bit. Definitely uh, looking forward to many more experiences like that one in the future. Good, good. After a great VR experience, we're making our way to Port Orleans French Quarter on the boat. Inside Goofy's Candy Kitchen right now, looking at those special apples, and it looks like they're about to serve some samples. So we're, we're going to just wait here for, for a minute, see what happens. Look at all these flavors of popcorn, butter toffee almond, confetti, churro, caramel, cheddar, old chocolate caramel with sea salt. I mean, what? Apple pie apple. Apple pie apple. Yeah. Smells super good. Apple pie apple at yeah. Goofy's Candy Company. Ready? Let's do it. Sample yum. Wow. The amount of caramel on the outside is perfect. Yes. At first, the first bite you have, it's like, oh, is that enough? And then it hits you, it's like, oh, that's the perfect amount of caramel. Here at Sausagula Steamboat Company, the boat transportation here at Disney Springs. Mom, you choose. Are we going to the other side of Disney Springs, or are we taking the boat to I French Quarter? I think I'd like you to choose. No, 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 it's your vacation. You decide. I like them both. You decide. I like them both. Are we waiting for Mom to decide, David? I'm waiting for Mom to decide. All right. But now's the time to decide. French Quarter, here we come. Welcome back to Port Orleans French Quarter. How's it feel to be back on the bayou, Mom? Wow, it feels wonderful. I don't think I've been here in about three years. Three years? Wait for a beignet? After all that Ghirardelli ice cream, I'm not sure, but I'll oh. watch you and David have beignets. I was about to say, I don't know if I can eat it. <laughs> maybe, maybe we're just here to visit. So many amazing memories, just walking, reminiscing with family. That, that's the best. That is the best. It was a year and a half ago we were here together. It was the Halloween party. We're remembering now because we spent a lot of time here trick-or-treating and you tripped on a certain uh, oh. sidewalk <laughs> and it was okay no no yeah. watching where we walk now if I'm not mistaken this alligator saxophone player was actually the one in the kids club area played pool area who would spray water right from the end of a saxophone right there that's the same spigot right there I remember him from the kids area in the kids pool 
Wow. Taking some time just to relax, look through some of the items for sale right here, including sleeping Dumbo right there. I don't think I've seen him before. It's super cute. It's a different way of experiencing Disney. It really is. My, my love for it is evolving daily, and it's so cool. It, it's an amazing experience. I'm glad I get to share all of this with you because you know, you, you change over time, and people change, that's how it is, but but it's a positive change. It's such a positive change. Mom found the pumpkin patch scavenger hunt here at Port Orleans Resort French Quarter. And you, uh, you read the clue to figure out who the villain is and their location. You might have to try this. Known for ruling over all the souls in the underworld, find this villain where you get spirits of your own, a shaken, stirred, or swirled. That would be Hades, but where? Song number one, in the place you can check in or check out or wish on doubloon's glory, you'll find an old villainess who turned an emperor into a llama and then several creatures more. Okay, well that's Yzma. Let's go to the lobby and see if we can find it real quick. Just just one for now. I'm in the lobby now, and I'm looking for an Yzma-themed pumpkin. Check in or check out or wish on doubloon's galore. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. Sure enough. Yep, you're right. There's the Yzma pumpkin right there. Oh, this is so cool. That is awesome. I love this little game in the resorts. These are the kind of things that I want to do even more of in the future. But that was awesome. Horned and vicious, this villainess is not one to wallow. Find her with a tool to put out her flames in the same place where you can toast a marshmallow. Maleficent and fire pit area. Sat down for a few minutes, read some of those hints, and now we're going to hunt for those pumpkins. Having a tough time with some of these pumpkins. There's one for uh, Sasagula. Let's go take a look at that. That's King Candy Pumpkin right there in Sasagula. We're recognizing that some of these pumpkins are easy to find, like the one over there. Some of them are tough. We're having a real hard time with this one near the beignets. We're looking for another pumpkin. It should be right around Scat Cats. Somewhere around here. Making our way now toward the arcade. There's supposed to be one near there. World's largest Pac-Man and David Tank 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 game is here, so I have no doubt we'll be back to play later. There is the pumpkin. It is indeed Oogie Boogie. One of Mom's all-time favorite classic arcade games is Pac-Man. And we're here inside French Quarter with the world's largest Pac-Man. We might get a game card. David and Mom, thank you very much, are both super interested in the arcade, and so am I. It looks like a lot of fun. But we're trying to figure out if that you're welcome, if we get an arcade card if it expires. Because if for $25 you can get 2,000 points, and the game's like 50 points per game, and it makes a lot of sense. I feel like it wouldn't expire for a long, long time, but it's, it's worth asking. There's another one right in front of the gift shop here, the Evil Stepmother from Rapunzel. By the hot tub right now, and we are here with the Queen of Hearts pumpkin in a tree. I mean, that's that shocked me. I see the next pumpkin, not gonna give it away, but sure enough, it is Maleficent. Rolling down the bayou, there go those boats. We're looking for more pumpkins. The pumpkin apparently where you start a run, and if you recall, when Dave and I first arrived in Florida, we saw that you could get, go on a beignet run from here. So I'm looking, there's the fun run sign. It was a super good find by Ma. I totally missed that. There he is, Prince Hans. You, it's very hard to see that in the camera. Pumpkin overlooking where you start the run. Genius, I love, I love this. This is so cool. Dave and I are taking a look at the uh, serpent that Poseidon is riding, and I always loved it as a kid. Like, great, great slide, fun one. But I don't know if you noticed this. You look at the, uh, the eyes at night, it, it's super scary. Like, frighteningly scary. See, that's too scary for me. I don't like that. Those, those eyes are a little bit too aggressive. We need friendly eyes on the serpent. Friendly. Take a look, you can see. I, I missed it the whole time. Mom Another saw it. Mom. Another one for Mom. The Ursula pumpkin. Literally, King Triton is holding it. He's holding onto it. That's so cool. I distinctly remember that this uh, gator here uh, does something when I push the button right there. It, uh, Mom, no you... Oh, okay, okay. Okay. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. That worked. Wow, I'm surprised it still works. That's great. A little shower right here with the gator. Wow. Another one that mom found first up there on the bar almost. There he is. Hades right up there. So cool. Let's see if I can find this one first. Got a little bit of a head start looking for heffalumps and woozles and they steal honey. Beware. Beware. 
Front desk completed the 13 pumpkins in Port Orleans French Quarter. And I think that this button is awesome. Isn't it? Collectible button. When you go and do the scavenger hunt, they check the form and everything. That was a fantastic experience. Now we're doing pin trading. And I found out that the arcade card does not expire ever. So we might get it. David, what did you think of the scavenger hunt here at Port Orleans French Quarter? It was a lot of fun. Lots for us to do in terms of activities around the resort really involved in seeing all the things around the resort and getting to know the resort. So that's definitely yeah. an advantage of the scavenger hunt as well. I like that one a lot. It gives a lot of depth to the magic. Mom, what do you think? Oh, wonderful. Disney always puts on these extra activities for the holidays and in all the resorts. I love it. And it does help us to get the, to know the resort a bit better. We saw some things here that I don't think I've ever seen before. All right, and now we're on our way back to Disney Springs. We're all very tired at this point. Time is close to 9.45. An unbelievably magical day, truly magical. I loved it, absolutely loved it. Tomorrow is another magical day and it feels so good. It feels so good. There's so many things to do. And this um, pumpkin scavenger hunt is just one example. Just one. So much more magic coming your way. Made it to West Side now to explore a little bit of Disney Springs on our way back to the car. Here's Circus Olay de Sol right over here under construction right now for a brand new show. Here's a new part of Disney Springs we have not seen before. This is City Works, which is a poorhouse and eatery. So it's a kind of a bar and food coming winter of 2019, super soon. And right next to it is the brand new NBA experience. It just opened here at Disney Springs. Haven't tried it yet. I'm sure we'll try it one day in the future. Walking through extremely briefly through the NBA Experience gift store, they have some amazing items, including, look at this, this lounge fly bag. It's the same texture as a basketball. I like that, that's very, very cool. There's so many other things like hats and folders and socks and different shirts and jerseys from all sorts of different teams. Of course, tons and tons and tons of basketballs, even small mini basketballs. Really, really cool. And now there is one more item that I saw that I just immediately I saw it. I'm like, this is the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. You ready for this? All right, this is a duffel bag. All right, this is a duffel bag. You use it to carry your things. It opens up right there on the top with the zipper. Really cool. Okay, basketball on this end, awesome. And on that end, very cool. That's for your team. And then you move over here. That's the same duffel bag. <laughs> Bang! $45, and when it's empty, it doesn't have anything in it, it stores like a basketball. That is genius. That so smart. Whoever thought of that? $45 for that. Wow. Needless to say, some very cool items in here. Walking down Disney Springs at night, looking at Splitsville. We've got to do that very, very soon. AMC and making our way toward the Lime Garage. Of course, we will spend many more nights here in the future to experience it together, but it's time for sleep. It is time to go to sleep. I really like this sign right here. Whoa. Disney villains, all like in neon right there. That is epic. Live entertainment, even a weekday night here at Disney Springs. Got to appreciate it. 1046. It's, it's too late. It's, it's too late. We're moving now. And with that, we have made it back to the Lime Garage after a truly incredible day. Mom, did you have fun today? I definitely did. Thank you so much for a wonderful evening. I'm so, so glad. Did you have fun? Oh, an awesome, awesome time here today. So many fun adventures. It was great. Good. You were saying, Mom? Oh, that Void experience was incredible. Yes. Giradelli, the boat ride. Fantastic. Loved it all. Thank you so much for sharing in the magic with us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. See you real soon.